good morning good afternoon and good evening my dear friends in this uh, video session we will talk about instant virtual machine recovery and with instant vm recovery you can immediately restore different workload as vm vsphere vm by running them directly from the backup the supported type of backup files are listed in performing instant vm recovery for workload to vmware vsphere instant vm recovery help improve recovery time objective minimize disruption and downtime of production workload it is like having a temporary spare for workload user remain productive while you can troubleshoot an issue with failed workload when instant vm recovery is performed vim backup replication uses vim v power technology to mount a recovery vm image let me simplify it for you what exactly happened here okay so <clears throat> For example, you are having a virtual machine one, virtual machine two, virtual machine three, okay, and uh, this machine it goes down, and there are users who have been using this machine will no longer have access to it. So you have two options. One is uh, this is your backup storage, and to use your Veeam backup server and bring your virtual machine and restore it to the host and the user will get access again but this can take time depends on the size of the virtual machine another way is make it it faster for your production environment is you can perform a quick restore what happen is your your virtual machine remain here only and it has been mapped to this host so virtual machine will practically run here but the storage of virtual machine will remain in the virtual storage so user will get access to it and this process is very fast it save you a lot of time let us go and see <clears throat> this is windows 10 right now and there's an option here while restoring you remember let's go to the virtual infrastructure and then there is a restore feature restore from the backup and entire virtual machine now we have learned the second option here in this one the first option is a instant vm recovery it recover a virtual machine by running it directly from the backup remember to finalize the restore by moving the vm to your production storage so let's use it machines to restore from the backups and here so let me do one thing before i, I exactly run this let me go to the client and this is my client it is already running This is already running a virtual machine here so first of all i need to power it off and i can rename it to windows 10 okay i do not want to run this machine okay another one new machine will appear here but in the data store only this machine will remain other will come directly from the storage so let us see and see go to the virtual infrastructure go to restore restore from backup entire virtual machine instant vm recovery add from backups and this is the backup windows 10 go yes next restore to the original location or restore to a new location so if you want to restore it to a different server you can choose it otherwise you can select to a original location you can select this for securing machine and go next 
connect vm to the network power on target vm after restoring okay and it is giving some warning that that issue will be occur make sure original server is powered off so i have already powered off <clears throat> let us see i am not going to pause the video let's see how long it is going to take as we are using instant vm recovery in actual production environment it take less than a minute few seconds but in my case it will depends on my network capacity or the time it is going to take to come back to the storage so it is almost done okay so almost done the status is still in progress waiting for user to start the migration as you can see here old machine is powered off the new has been appeared and if you turn it off on you know it's switching on So it take almost a minute or it may take less than a minute. Yeah, this machine is now ready and I'll try to Yeah, that's the machine I can set up a password for it and machine is ready but if i go to the data store i wanted to show you go to summary and go to data store so this data store does not exist in this computer this is the data store of a Veeam where I have kept the Veeam backup. Okay. So, automatically it will mount that storage to this data store. You can see the device, it is also not local, it is on this IP. Okay. Here. I close it it is here this machine now <clears throat> we can go for quick migration for this Windows 10 migrating see I also have a problem with my storage space so what I am going to do is uh, I am going and deleting the old machine just to get the space you know in this data store 
so host or cluster i am migrating it see the restore has been done people can remain connected but migration part left so i am migrating it to this data store okay the data store riders have okay go next go next is also also saying delete the source vm upon successful quick migration so now we are migrating the storage you know from the uh sorry uh, migrating vm uh, from the storage to the host uh, so uh, quick migration has been done completed 100% uh, action is uh, starting migration processing virtual machine windows 10 job finished at this time okay so it's done now let me go to the client and show you that uh, window 10 has been migrated and if you want to see this migration i can show you here it has appeared here in this windows 10 okay so it is a migrated version and other version you need to power off and the migrated version you need to start that's it in fact if you want to remove uh from here you can you want to unmount the old one yes you can okay it has been utilized or used so it cannot be unmount right now so let me show you the console of this windows 10 migrated machine So it has been started nicely you can see okay so this is how it take place thank you very much